James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is April 12, 2022, 12.30 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, it looks like the WSA Enlil team has made a turnabout, and they're now predicting approximately 100 centimeters square of plasma to hit planet Earth midday on the 14th, all generated by the filament or decaying sunspot that we saw pop off a chrome mass ejection just yesterday. So what they're telling you guys is, first off, it's going to take over well, 72 hours to arrive at Earth. Second off, it's three times more powerful than they first predicted. Now they're giving it right at 100 centimeters, maybe 90 centimeters cubed, with solar winds reaching almost 600 kilometers per second. And I jumped over to look at the European model. And please remember, this didn't come from a sunspot. This came from a sunspot that had deteriorated, been unnamed, and then shot a filament towards Earth that actually became a chronal mass ejection. Now, they have us getting a double whammy on the 13th and 14th. And they have the plasma going up to about 75 centimeters, 78 centimeters cubed. They again look like they have underestimated all solar winds associated with this event and all other events that they do. Uh, please notice the black color. Black is off the charts. At that point, they really don't know how strong it is. Look at that thing, a direct hit to planet Earth. All three agencies, NOAA, NASA, and the EESA, are all in agreement that a coronal mass ejection will directly hit the planet, and they all agree that it will be very strong, and they all agree on timing. Now, if they're all wrong again, well, folks, we're just going to have to question closing all those agencies immediately. Please share our video, please subscribe, and always remember, Anything's possible in Bizarro World.